Welcome team uh, to exercise 2.14, perimeter and area. Let's have a look at the, uh, the kinds of things we need to know. Well, of course we need to know how to find the area of a rectangle. Um, you already know this to be base times height, so that should be fairly uh, simple for you. The perimeter, of course, will be two times the base, two times the height, and add them together. Now, the area of a parallelogram um, is the base times the height also. And you might like to think about why that is. What we could do is we could say, cut this little bit off here, and then flip it, uh, just slide it into this bit here. You can see that that's the same, and you can now see that you've got a rectangle with a base uh, and a height, and so that's why the area of a par parallelogram is just simply the same as the area of a rectangle. Okay. Now, the area of a triangle, you also know half base times height, um, so that's fine. And area of a trapezium, I think, also is familiar to most of you. It's half times the sum of your parallel sides, A and B, uh, multiplied by the perpendicular distance between them, or the height. Okay, so be aware that this is a height, the perpendicular distance, but these lines on the side here are not heights because they're not perpendicular. Okay, now the first question I'm going to look at here, uh, I have to find the both the area and the perimeter. I'm going to do the perimeter first. I know that this is 11, I know that this is 7, um, and I can therefore say, well, it's going to be 11 plus 7, and then I'm going to multiply that by 2. Uh, and that gives me, well, 11 and 7 is going to be 18, or uh, double that is 36. Now you might be thinking, how do you know that? Well, uh, because this height and this height must add also to 7, right? And in a, a addition, uh, this length plus this length must add to 11. So therefore you're going to have two lots of 11 and two lots of 7. If that doesn't make sense to you, well, you know that this length here is going to be 5, because 5 plus 6 is 11. If this is 3 here, then you know that this here must be 4. And then when you add them all up, you're also going to get 36. Now the area, let me delete a few of these bits here. Okay, the area. Area is going to equal, uh, there's a couple of ways of doing this. You could just divide it off into a couple of boxes. Um, maybe you'll do this. Okay, this top one is 6 times 3. And then, so that's that bit there. And then the bottom one uh, is going to be 11 times, uh, this must be 4 because 4 plus 3 has to add 7. So 11 times 4. So that's this bit plus 11 times 4. Now when we add those all together, we're going to get 18 plus 44. Four, and then we add those together. Uh, 44 plus 20 is 64 to subtract 2, so it should be 62. Now the next one here, we've got a perpendicular height of uh, 6, and one side 12, and one side 8. And we know that we're dealing with this rule here, base times height. Well, if 6 is our height, our base must be 12, not 8. Okay, because 6 is perpendicular to 12, so 12 must be the base. So the area in this case is 12 times 6, which is equal to 72 uh, centimeters squared, or whatever the units are in this case, I'm not sure. The next one I'm just doing area on as well, and this is a trapezium. So my area is going to be half my two parallel sides, so I'm using this formula here. That's going to be 3 plus 6 times 4. Now, to do this in my head, I'm going to multiply my half by my 4 first, because that makes life easier. So it's going to be 2 times what's in the brackets. 3 plus 6 is 9. So this should be 18. Uh, now, the final one here is a kite. We've talked a little bit about this in class. And we could divide it up like this. That's 20. And this is... 10. Okay, so the area of a kite is going to be um, 
well, let's back up the truck for a second. Um, make this a little bit easier for you. You can see that we've divided it into two triangles. The top triangle is going to be half times the base, which is 20, times the height, which is half of 16. You can, you can see that. Uh, it's this, this bit here. All right, that's going to be 8. Uh, so times 8. And then you know the bottom is exactly the same, right? Because they're symmetrical, times 2. And therefore, it's just going to be p, uh, uh, p q divided by 2. So uh, 2 times 1 half is 1. So I'm going to have 20 times 8, or 160. Now, um, the formula for this, and I don't know if they give it to you in the textbook, is p q over 2. So where p is, uh, these are your uh, diagonals. So it might be like 20 is one diagonal, right, from point to point, and q is the other diagonal from point to point. So if you multiply them together and divide by 2, you get the area. All right, so that's a, a quick introduction to the exercise. I think there's a couple of uh, more difficult word problems towards the end, which you might have to have a bit of a think about. Um, but if you do have any problems, of course, uh, let me know. Good luck.